Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. So today I'm going to be talking about the difference between using the text content and inner text property to get and set the text content inside of HTML elements. Now even if you have some experience using text content and inner text, you might be wondering if there is actually any difference at all. So starting with this basic example, I have a paragraph with some text in. Some of it, the placeholder text, is embedded in a span. And in my script, I'm getting the text content from inside that paragraph, first with text content and then within a text. Now, if we take a look at what's been logged to the console, you see that in both cases, exactly the same result has been logged. So in a simple case like this, you can pretty much use either one. Text content will extract the text slightly faster, but if you're not using it in a loop or some kind of iterative method, then it's not really going to matter. But now let's take a look at a use case where the difference between text content and inner text does matter. So I'm going to hit return just before the span here. So there's a new line in the markup and I'm also going to set the style of the span so that the display style is set to none. Now, if we go back to the browser, there's a very clear difference between the two results. So text content, which is the first one here, it's extracting the text from within the paragraph as it exists in the markup. So the line break I included is also present in the output. Indentation is also present in the output. And placeholder text, this text is visible in the markup, so it's also visible here. But if you use inner text here, then you get quite a different output. So the placeholder text is missing, meaning that style has been taken into account and there's no second line. Now, if I highlight this output, you can see that placeholder text, it just doesn't exist at all in the output. So a rule of thumb is that inner text returns basically what you would get if you highlighted the page and copied the text directly from there. So the key difference to remember is that text content returns text as it appears in the markup, whereas inner text returns it as it appears to the human eye. Now, there's also a difference between text content and inner text when you are setting the text inside an element. So like before, if you are setting a simple single line string inside of an element, it's not going to matter which one you use. But it does matter if you have a multi-line string like this one. So here I've created an address using a template literal. So these are backticks here. And I'm going to attempt writing this address inside the container element using first of all text content. So in the next tab, you see that the address appears all on one line, which is probably not the result that you were hoping for. But if I use in a text, this is going to preserve the multi-line formatting when it writes that content to the DOM. But I'm going to finish with a word of warning about inner text because it's much more performance heavy than text content. If you use it inside a loop or some kind of iterative method, then it can really slow down your performance. So what I'm doing in the first part of this script is I'm using some loops to create a table after that, I'm appending the table to the DOM. This value of n up here, this defines the number of rows that are going to be in the table. And in each cell in the table, I'm writing this content inside it. So it's not a simple string, it's embedded in a span. So that is the basic setup. And then what I'm doing down here is I'm using a loop here to extract all of the values from the cells. So what I'm doing down here in the get values function is first of all, selecting all of the cells, next creating an array called values. Then I'm creating a timestamp using performance.now, naming that start. And then I'm running a loop, which is doing the actual extraction of the values. So into the values array, I'm pushing the value of each cell dot text content at first, and then I'll do it with inner text. And then after the loop has run, I'm again creating a timestamp performance.now, and then I'm subtracting from that the timestamp when the performance now was first called. So what will eventually be logged to the console 
is the number of milliseconds that it takes for all of the values to be extracted from the cells, first using text content, and then I'm going to test it with inner text. Okay, so I'm going to uncomment the get values call to run the test, and we'll see what values we get at first for text content. So 0 0.1 millisecond, 0, 0 0.2, and so on. So generally speaking, it's around 0 0.2, 0 0.3 milliseconds to extract the text from the table using text content. Now let's see what happens when we try to extract it using inner text. So you see within a text here, it's much slower, 27.7 milliseconds. If I run it a few more times, okay, it's even slower on the second go around, but you can see it's nowhere near the 0 0.3 milliseconds that it was taking with text content. And of course, the more data you want to extract, the more exaggerated this difference becomes. So if the table has a thousand rows, you see it's now taking 0.2 of a second to extract the data using inner text. It's fairly consistent around that mark. So the key takeaway is that you should be really careful if you're using inner text inside a loop. For example, when you're web scraping, this could make a really big difference if you're scraping thousands of rows of data. And the reason it's so slow is because it's doing more processing than text content. So, so it's trying to take into account how this text would appear to a human reader. But in a case like this, text content and inner text, they will return the same thing. So this would be a case where you definitely want to use text content. So to review quickly what we've covered, text content extracts text as it appears in markup and is quicker, whereas the output of inner text is the text as it appears to a reader. And because it goes through that process, it's often slower. When writing a string literal, inner text is more respectful of formatting like this. This was written with inner text. If you use text content, it's going to be written over one line. And because inner text is much slower, you should be very careful when you're using it in a loop or an iterative method, especially when the number of iterations gets very large. And so that is it for this tutorial. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps with the algorithm and others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.